Hi guys, this is Duncan and I'm pleased to introduce you to my new short series called YTF, also known as YouTube Featured. I've approached some people on YouTube that have been creating consistently high quality videos and for the benefit of you guys I've asked them to create a video for you. So without further ado, this is MKBHD, also known as Marquez. Take it away MK. Hey guys, it's Marquez from the MKBHD channel and today we have a guest post for the Mobile Phone 2003 YouTube channel and today we'll be taking a look at a piece of free software called MPEG Stream Clip, one of my favorite pieces of software. So let's take a look. This software, which is available at squared5.com, actually requires Apple's QuickTime to work, so make sure you have that software available on your computer before you go ahead and download this one. Now you can open up files as you can see here in MPEG Stream Clip itself and once you have the clip that you want to work with you can actually render it out in a ton of different file formats and edit it and change it however you want. So once you can scrub through here just to make sure you know that this is the file you want you can go to file and go ahead and export to any number of different file formats. There are a ton of different file formats including Apple's QuickTime. And if you actually select uploading or exporting to the QuickTime format, you still have a ton of different compressors you can select from. So there's a lot of customization options with MPEG Stream Clip exporting video files. You can change quality and also manually input the frame rate you want to export the video to. And of course, this wouldn't be complete without the ability to change resolutions, whether you want to upscale to 1080i or 1080p, or keep it at its native resolution. You can also deinterlace i video. Then you'd hit the Make Movie button and you'd be done, you'd be exporting. Now besides the ability to change formats in MPEG Stream Clip, you also have the ability to do some basic video editing. You can trim the beginning and ending of the video just by selecting an in point and selecting an out point. So it's really, really simple for those of you who may want to cut out the shaky beginning of a video when you set up the camera, or maybe you reaching to hit the record button at the end of the video. You can cut those out and then render the selection that you've choose as you wish. So that's really, really convenient. In fact, you can even export just the audio of a video, maybe it's a music video, or you might just want to export a single frame of that video, which you can do with the software too. MPEG Stream Clip is so versatile, in fact, that you can use it to connect to the internet. You can open a URL of, say, a YouTube video and download it straight from this software. So it's super convenient, and if you haven't already checked out the software, I highly recommend that you check it out at squared5.com, which is available at the link in the description. MKBHD, signing out. Peace.